Hello everybody, I'm coming to you live. I'm back at home and it's cold here. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. I think it was warmer in Italy than it is here. Um, some of the things I want to take note today is um, making yourself a priority. It's very important and I know as a mother and a wife and a daughter that it's really hard to remember to take some time off for yourself or to um, do things for yourself and so on. So here are some quick little tips that I have. Hi John, I hope you're having a great day today. Happy Sunday. Um, things that you can do to help make yourself a priority again. Do what you love. Um, have some time with a friend. Go out with a friend. Enjoy a quick lunch or um, go hit the gym if you need to. Go, uh, go, to the, go work out for, a, you know, once or twice a week and enjoy some time working out. You need it for your body and not only for your body, but you also need it for, for you know, for your mind, your stress levels. Um, have an adult night out once a week. Go have some fun with some friends. Go eat, uh, go have dinner, go have a couple of drinks, meet with some girlfriends and do a movie night or meet with your guy friends and do a movie night. Just go have some time for yourself. Do what you love. Do what you enjoy. Um, carve out some time for yourself and... You hear my dog barking? Sorry. Carve out some time for yourself. Make plans with other people so that you'll keep them. Um, put it on a calendar so that way you'll keep, you know, keep it on a calendar so that way you'll keep up with it. And also so you can remember to do it so you've already carved out that time. Kind of like if you have a doctor's appointment and you know that's important and you don't want to waste their time. You don't want to waste your time either. You want to make sure you get there. And I know we all get to the doctor's office and we end up waiting goodness knows how long at the doctor's office sometimes with that doctor but make make it make it a priority and put it on your calendar so you don't forget <clears throat> create a no cancellation policy with yourself so when you write something down on your calendar don't cancel it because canceling it just is something more for you to have to do and also not only that but it also is is basically saying to yourself that your time isn't worthy um basically don't cancel with yourself it's important that you keep time to yourself you have to and with having three kids and a husband it's hard I know for a fact it's hard <laughs> it's really hard I have three kids that when I when they were younger were three under the age of two and it's really hard to remember to take time to yourself uh, build yourself a support network enlist your partner a babysitter and ask them to take over when you're not available or when you need time to yourself and don't feel guilty about asking your partner to step in when you need help. Please don't feel guilty. If you need them to unload the dishwasher or if you need them to help, you know, take care of the kid for a couple hours so you can take a bath or if you just need to get away. I've done that before where I've told Randy, hey, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going to go to the grocery store and leave him with the three kids for a couple hours when I went to the grocery store. And I took my time in the grocery store too. Trust me, I did. <laughs> um... So, if you do ask your husband or your partner to step in to help you out, it's always time to, number one, it'll give you time alone by yourself to go out and do things you need to do, but also give your time for your spouse or your significant other to enjoy time with, their, with the kids too, so that way they have time with the kids to enjoy and get to know them a little bit better, and it also helps them out. Hi, Christy. I hope you're having a great day today. Happy Sunday. I hope your day is going really good. <clears throat> um, start small. When you start off doing your plans for the week, start off small and um, you know find a couple minutes here and there. Even if it is five minutes to yourself to sit down and read a book, uh, sit down with a good movie, read a you know listen to a book online. Any of that is really good to do. Just take some time for yourself and enjoy your time. You need you need your downtime. Trust me, you do as a mom. You need to have some downtime. So I hope you enjoyed this live. If you'd like to ask any questions or if you would like my list of things that I, you know, that I suggested to make yourself a priority, please reach out to me and let me know. Um, if you're watching the replay, please put hashtag replay so that way I know you watch the replay. If you have any comments or any suggestions that you think I should add, please feel free to let me know. And again, like I said, if you'd like a copy of this, please private message me and let me know and I'll be more than happy to send you my list of information. I hope you guys have a great day and don't forget to take your mommy time out because we all need it or your daddy time out. Okay, hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.